everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac. We're due for a random run. We won our last run. It was fairly comfortable. There were parts of it that looked a little uh, sketchy. Our guppy gambit didn't work out, but hey, sometimes that ends up working out for you. Uh, this is like the ideal situation to use this chariot card. Super lucky that we got the chariot card. Oh, that was dumb of me, but oh well. Super lucky we got the chariot card on the room preceding that super lust. Otherwise, with our shitty uh, damage and low speed, we probably would have had a, a really rough time. I mean, mind you, we would have had yum hearts, so we probably wouldn't have died, but um, would have been a little tricky at least now. Who knows what this pill does? I'm holding on to it almost in the hopes that maybe we get a, uh, you know, PhD or deal with the devil uh, luck foot or something like that, or just a luck foot. That could show up as well. It's been showing up like crazy all the time. Spoonbender. It's fine. I think Spoonbender is a, a little bit, uh, it's, a, it's a fun item because it actually changes the way your tiers look and shoot, but I don't really consider it as valuable as even like a straight tiers upgrade because typically I can aim my shots okay, I would rather just be able to shoot more of them. So there is a Tinted Rock on here. We may not be able to do anything about that, but, uh, you know, part of the first floor of Isaac, and, and many floors of Isaac, actually, is just learning to let go. Learning to, um, grant you, uh, the ability to, or the, the strength to accept what you can't change, right? There's something in, I think, the Lord's Prayer about that, or so, I don't know, I've never said it. But I remember that, uh, Aunt May says it in Spider-Man 1 when the Green Goblin blows a, a hole in the side of her house and then takes her away. So I guess that's where my my knowledge on that comes from. Yeah, so we're not gonna be able to do anything about that, but two keys, we could use the pill, maybe it's bombs or key, we end up getting a bomb. I'd rather just keep our keys though in that case. The pill could already be good, of course, but uh, I'm just kinda holding off. Just in case it's not, we'll probably end up using it like after this floor because I, um, I don't want to accidentally, like, jeopardize our ability to open one of these item rooms, nor do I want to jeopardize our ability to beat this next boss without getting hit. And it could just be an outright bad trip. Of course, it could be, uh, Balls of Steel. That's the... That's the gambit with pills. I, I've started to play a lot more, uh, conservatively with respect to them, rather than just, like, pill, open, aw, pill, open, yay, pill, open, or, or take, not open, I guess. You know what I mean, though. Alright, this is, uh, it's been a scary room, but it is only the basement. Immolated Hopper is still super, super freaking annoying. Love the idea of that curse room. Hopefully, I'll get the opportunity to go to that. Not yet, though. And, uh, you know, homing tears are fine. I wonder if they can actually help me, like, sneak in some shots here. You'd think you'd be able to. We got one, at least. Just minimize the odds of us taking damage, if you will. Okay. Boss room or item room has to be close. Come on. It's an actually like a more difficult immolated hopper room. They jump so far sometimes. To oh my god. I think when they immolate, it like resets the damage that you've done to them, which is straight up nonsense. There we go. At least we're only gonna have to deal with one more. We can curve some shots in here. This is one of the benefits of, uh, of homing tears that I didn't touch on earlier, but that's okay. There we go, we made it. Inside of our item room, we get holy water. Holy shit, that's a bad item for us. We're probably not going to take it, even though we don't have a familiar. We'll probably just leave that there um, for some unlucky soul. Now, that curse room, or sorry, not curse room. I mean, yes, the curse room is tempting, but that demon judgment, even more tempting. So what's our goal here? Very simple. Just beat, uh, beat Monstro without taking any damage. If we beat Monstro without taking any damage, because this is a new instance of Isaac, um, you know, I... I turned off the game and turned it back on before we started playing. I believe I have a 135% chance of getting a deal with the devil, which is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I like those odds. I'd be pretty comfortable if I, if I had like a 135% chance to hit an enemy in XCOM. I'd be pretty stoked about that. But for now, we just gotta get through this and uh, could still take a, a renegade shot. And I would be very disappointed about it. There we go. Jesus Juice is fine. We'll just take it right off the bat. And our deals with the devil. I would love to take both. If I can only take one, I actually prefer... Well, let's take our pill. Hey! <laughs> okay. I'm still only gonna take one, and it's gonna be the mark. That health upgrade pill was great, but, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the mark. Why the mark? Because, um... 
I wanted the damage, and the ability to fly is a lot easier to come by, I think. Well, this pill could be good, could be terrible. Please don't be a health downgrade, that would be so disappointing. Oh, it's full health! Substantially better. I'm gonna avoid taking that white pill just for now, if I can. Come on, Demon Judgment, work with me here. I went to you instead of the curse room, and this is how you're gonna repay me. It's not looking amazing so far. Come on. Really? That's, you did me dirty there. Well, I still don't want to take this pill yet. We'll get one more play. At the very least, I'm stoked to have the pact, and we didn't trade too, too much away for it, but, uh... Please work with me here. Nope. We teleported into, uh, Holy Water City. Well, um, we can be pretty confident of where our secret room is going to be. I'm still content with this floor. No matter how things have gone. We got Jesus Juice and the Pact. Uh, that's not going to help out, is it? Well, I think we end up just leaving now. Not going to the Curse Room. Demon Judgment at least gave me a full health pill, but we sacrificed a lot to get not much in return. Caves XL, I'm not thrilled about, but I am very happy that I got those damage upgrades. And there's probably going to be some conjecture, you know, what's better, Spirit of the Night or the Mark? Spirit of the Night, substantially better defensively. The Mark, uh, obviously actually gives you some tangible offensive benefit. Given the choice, I would rather, um, not fly and have good damage than fly and have the same damage we had. So, I think that that's a new-ish, like, not evolution, but change, at least, in my, uh, Isaac play. Previously, probably, like, ten times out of ten, I would have gone with, the uh, Spirit of the Night instead of the Mark. But, I think this is, uh, it's a good change. So I'm a little nervous, and you can probably understand why if you look at my HP, but... Really, all we need to do is survive long enough to be able to use... Yumheart. And then all is forgiven. If a red heart drops, that would be great too. But if we just survive long enough to actually be able to use Yumheart, then, um... Uh, you know, we're, we're safe as well. Come on, the knockback is bullshit here. There we go. One's dead. That makes our life a lot easier, especially since we one-shot them back to the ooze state, or we one-shot one of them back to the ooze state, at least. Alright, so there's Yamhart. We will take Isaac's Fork for now, as well. And you know what? We even have half a Spirit Heart protecting us right now to possibly give us a decent chance of getting a deal with the Devil. Mind you, um, you know, we're gonna have to find the, the boss room pretty early to make that, uh, dream a reality. If we're, you know, being realistic with our predictions here. Do this. Shop's not looking amazing so far. I took the bomb bag. This uh, this run right now is riddled with all sorts of difficult decisions. Take holy water, even though you don't have familiars. Well, pretty easy to say no to that one because holy water's effect isn't that good in and of itself. But how about uh, you know take bomb bag, even though it'll make spirit hearts less likely to drop, especially if you get the miter. Bombs are valuable. I think I made I made the right decision for me right now to take uh, the bomb bag. Always gotta be careful with this room. This room has made me very thankful that I, uh, picked up the mark. Otherwise, we would have been all but guaranteed to take damage there, I think. Okay, this is good stuff. Two more on this guy, if I had to guess. Uh, four on that guy, wow. Well, he's a champion, so not unexpected. A little bit of extra healing here, and, um, at the very least, Demon Judgment's legacy won't be killing me by not paying out. Uh, we're still, you know, lower on health than I would like to be. Lower on, like, temporary consumable health than I'd like to be, but that's alright. We seem to have recovered fairly well, and there we go. We're back to full health, and we have the Spirit Heart protecting us. We also have a, a key, because we made that Bombs or Key trade earlier. Which allows me to actually access this uh, item room right here. Free bomb, which I will use on this room. Maybe find the second secret room. And we got 10 free bombs as a result. Again, these are not game-winning item rooms. But they help. Let's put this down. No second secret room. But a uh, little bit of money. There wasn't a nickel in there. I hope there would be. Um, maybe there was a nickel in there. Not totally sure. But we are closing in on possibly being able to make this shop worthwhile. Hopefully. Now, this is another room where, uh, homing shots is very much gonna come in handy. Careful. Uh, yeah, because we can stand over here and just let, uh, the curvature of the shots actually do damage to this guy without us being in range. That helps out a great deal. Okay, good tarot card. The sun. The best tarot card. 
And if we can save that until the late game, we'll be in a pretty solid position. Starting to pull out something on this one. Starting to tease out a little bit of victory um, by stacking up some, some good decisions or good luck over and over and over and not uh, throwing it all away by taking dumb damage. Now I'm really, really... Uh, we could possibly find the secret room here. It's a one-for-one -one trade for bombs anyway, so yeah, it was worth trying. Um, we could throw it all away very easily if I took damage on the boss fight. But if I don't take damage on the boss fight, and I don't take damage leading up to the boss fight, so I have the spirit heart protecting my red hearts, I think we're going to have a very good chance at uh, actually making this work. And you know what? This blood bank is sweet. Blood banks, uh, they don't count as red heart damage. So we can afford to actually use our, uh, our yum heart effectively here and probably get enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Sure. We'll stay at full health for now just to be safe, but... Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with this, and it should make our shop worthwhile. If we fight greed, we fight greed, right? That's not the end of the world. It's actually nice to get a little uh, extra money sometimes for just fighting a boss. Or the steam sale. We have we kind of have no choice but to be content with either option here, considering we don't have a D6. We're already up to 14 bombs. I mean, mind you, getting 10 of them in one fell swoop helped out a lot. Alright, this is solid play right now. I'm feeling pretty good. Our shop contains the map, which will allow us to find the secret room. We're definitely going to be able to buy it, too. And, you know, truth be told, we'll probably be able to buy a key as well. So just play smart here. We can always go to the blood bank. And get, uh, get the money we need. Most important thing is get the deal with the devil on this floor. Get even stronger. I can't believe that, like, there's still... The game has the audacity to create, like, another kind of corridor type area over here when I've already gone through so many rooms for the caves XL. Mind you, of course it is XL, but still. It's uh, this is a big floor. We have a mini boss, okay. Not my favorite mini boss. Oh, we took we took damage. We took damage. That's okay. It's okay. Not Anarchist Cookbook. That is uh, the Anarchist Cookbook. We took damage, but it's fine as long as we uh, don't take any more. Losing that red heart damage would be critical mistake at a very uh, important juncture in the game here. Ooh, okay, good, 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 good. Are we gonna fight our bosses right now? I don't see any reason not to. We have to do it sooner or later, might as well be now. The Fallen, okay, well, this is, uh, oh, we took damage. It's good, but bad. Now we don't have to worry about, uh, maybe we, we still do have to worry about not taking damage against our next boss, but uh, the, the reason this is good is obvious. Free deal with the devil item. The reason it's bad is difficult. Much more difficult than your average caves boss. Not necessarily, you know, insurmountable or anything, but uh, quite annoying. And conceivably could put us on the back foot here. Plus, we're losing these red hearts that I want to gamble away to get enough money to possibly buy that map. Well, definitely buy that map. Guppy's head is uh, a lot worse than the yum heart, but it's possible if we do earn a deal with the devil here, we'll have a great opportunity to become Guppy take like nine lives guppy item or guppy item nine lives yes I realize uh, nine lives is a guppy item but you know what I mean so the Chad fight should be pretty easy actually I'm gonna be banking on um, using as many bombs as it takes to kill him because we want to kill him quickly and without taking damage ourselves I don't know how the deal with the devil uh, spawning works when you have um, taken damage against the first boss on an XL floor but not on the next we didn't get a deal with the devil it happens okay that's not so bad it's not my favorite payout, but that's okay, too. So now we turn our attention to hopefully getting the uh, HP plus speed upgrade via this blood bank. Maybe getting uh, enough, well, probably getting enough money to buy the map and maybe the key as well. Getting into that secret room, and on the secret room maybe we end up getting a good item as well. Maybe a raw liver or something. For now, though, we're going to head downwards and... Um, well, we should open this golden chest as well. We have a surplus of keys for the first time in our in our young run here. And we should be able to get one more on our... Uh, on our shop as well, if we end up uh, being able to play the blood bank for a reasonable length of time. Now, that's 15 cents right there, so we can just go buy the map right now. But let's gamble a little bit beforehand. There's a lot of red hearts available for us on this run right now, so... We can be pretty confident, at least, like, going down all the way to the bottom once. And maybe more than once. 
Uh, IV bag. That sucks. I don't really want to sacrifice any more HP to, uh, to use IV bag. But at least now we know blood bags will be, uh, paid out in the future. We can buy this extra key, and I think it's a, a prudent idea to do so, so we can still go to the shop on the next floor. And the floor after that, in all likelihood, that'll take us to four, which is two item rooms, two shops. After buying that map, now we can finally find the secret room, and there it is over there. Kind of a, a disappointing floor in terms of, like, the number of items that showed up that I don't want. We, uh, I mean, you can just look at it right now. We have three item pedestals that I can't do anything with, and this is why, of course, the, the reroll is so valuable. The D6 is such a good item. Maggie's Faith is beautiful if we can... I, you know, it's better for sure than uh, Isaac's Fork. As long as we manage to get back to full HP. It's easy to forget we came down to this floor in kind of a dire position. So not getting the deal with the devil and leaving a few items behind that we can't do shit about doesn't really bother me that much. But, um, yeah. Um, we might not be able to protect Maggie's faith, but we're sure as hell gonna try. Really doubt that this will be a second secret room, but worth trying. We're gonna open the golden chest anyway. Spirit hearts? Ah, uh, rusted key. So that's terrible. But, we're still in an okay position. Let's not forget we did get a guppy item. There will be people out there who want me to take Guppy's head, I'm sure of it, but I think in our situation, Yum Heart is, uh, is the better choice. The items that we're leaving behind are very re-rollable, unfortunately. Anarchist Cookbook, IV Bag, Guppy's head, Guppy's head in particular, that's, that one's a little, leaves me a little salty, but, um... We made some good stuff happen as well. Got the map, got a sun card, got one HP. We're gonna be at full health, which is more than we can say for where we were at last run. And we know that blood bags will exclusively pay out in the future for us. Wow, this is a, an enormous curse of the lost here. Let's try to find our item rooms as soon as possible. Actually, I might want to find our shop as soon as possible, in case I uh, have the opportunity, and I would very much love the opportunity, to buy a spirit heart to possibly protect this eternal heart, which is otherwise not long for this world. Hierophant, please. Devil. Devil card's good. Uh, sun is better. So if we find a good use for this devil card, we're gonna take it. Now our damage is, is fine, as is. You know, we have, uh, we have the mark, we have Jesus Juice. Would be nice to have some tiers upgrades, I'll admit we're a little slow on the tiers. Uh, we're at default, uh, tiers. Maybe like a sad onion on this skinny odd mushroom. This item room could be crucial if it pays out with one of those. Book of Shadows. So Book of Shadows is an item that I will replace the Yum Heart with. Because it's better than the Yum Heart is. Uh, but carries some similar uses, especially when it comes to abusing blood banks, which is something that we're gonna want slash need to do in the future. If we wanna if we wanna stay uh strong here. Devil card might be best used against the boss, but um thing I'm gonna keep in mind, or I want you to keep in mind with Book of Shadows here is this is going to give us a pretty good chance to not lose our eternal heart. That was very close there. Hierophant. Strength. Well, pretty similar. Um, but yeah, Book of Shadows gives us a much better chance to not lose this eternal heart. As long as my reflexes are okay, and that's a big if, um, if I'm about to get hit, I can just press the space bar. It recharges once every three rooms, too. I can just hit the space bar and um, not get hit and keep this eternal heart alive, and that HP can add up over uh, several floors. That's enough money to at least think about making the shop worthwhile and still spawn an arcade on the next floor if our secret room ends up, ends up being good for us. So for example, this might be a room where we want to um, maybe use a bomb first. Right, that went very well. Don't get hit. I thought about using Book of Shadows, but I think Book of Shadows, uh, having a charge for that is more valuable than having an extra bomb. And there's our money, so we end up finding Book of Revelations in here. I don't think Book of Revelations is worth giving up Book of uh, Shadows for as Maggie, in our current situation at least, but that extra spirit heart in there just gives us another little layer of protection that we can use to keep this eternal heart alive. And that's something that I'm thinking is gonna be important as I'm really looking to like quadruple down on a deal with the devil here for extra damage on this floor. So there's enough money to get an arcade on the next floor and possibly buy something from the shop, although Let's be honest, we're probably on the next uh, floor looking at a shop that has greed, and maybe with Maggie's Faith, we don't want to play a Blood Bank anyway. It'll depend on the situation. Although with um, with Book of Shadows, we can play the Blood Bank. We can kind of have our cake and eat it, too. We can uh, play the Blood Bank 
without losing our eternal heart. Now and then. I think, at least. I don't know if I've ever actually put that into practice, but in theory, it seems like it would totally work. All right. So, so far, so good. This is probably the least powerful of the past three runs, and I you know, say that because this is the third one I've recorded today, so it makes a very convenient frame of reference. But that doesn't mean it's not powerful. We won the last two runs very comfortably. We could win this one very comfortably as well. This Devil card is something that I'm saving for, um, well, in all likelihood, the boss room. I would love to... I would love to keep this Eternal Heart alive. Um, or sorry, I would love to keep the Spirit Heart alive past this floor as well, so we could use it for next floor's Eternal Heart, if it's at all possible. So there's our Curse Room. Um, it's something that is very tempting, but we have to weigh the, the pros and cons when it comes to having the Spirit Heart for the next floor as well. We know where our boss room has to be at this point. Kind of unfortunate because uh, we have a Book of Shadows charge ready. So we'll prefer not to use it on the rooms leading up to the boss, but we'll see. We'll see. More keys, more bombs. It's very nice. Uh, what was this card? Was it like Fortune Teller or Magician? No, we just don't need it. Might as well get rid of it. Um, okay. Sometimes when I don't like a card, it just like filters out of my uh, out of my headspace. It didn't even exist. Yeah, I was hoping to bait out that shot so I could switch sides on the map here, kill you, and then maybe dodge one more shot. No, they're all dead. Hmm, we should be fine here. Tempting to use Book of Shadows, but I think we should be okay. And really good opportunities to use three bombs. Maybe get even another Spirit Heart here. Ah, no. Three bombs for three keys, though, is is totally solid. No second secret room, unfortunately. Alright, so let's not fart around too much here. Uh, we may open that, but for now, we're just going to go straight into this boss room. It's going to be Gish. We're going to pop the Devil card, which should... Uh, I mean, our damage is already good, but it's going to be even better now. And we will probably end up using Book of Shadows as well. But if we don't have to use Book of Shadows, then then I'd rather not. Because <laughs> I'd rather save it for like this mob trap room, which might actually be harder than the Gish fight. I think, at least. And we can take like a hit without getting too rattled here. Although, you know what? Let's just pop Book of Shadows here and be smart about it. We've, we've been so good on this floor already, I think it makes sense to just, um, you know, not throw it all away for a dumb reason. So now, we can still get hit, of course, but we are about, uh, you know, 75-80% of the way through this Gish fight. Probably 80 now. Uh, and our shots are doing good damage. Still a bit of a, a slog here. As is often the case against a relatively high HP boss. Here we go. This is our chance. Nice! Deal with the Devil and Gish, and we kept our Eternal Heart alive. Gish is a good item. I can't do it, man. I know that we have uh, we have Guppy's head. I can't do it. I can't go through with this. Because if I take nine lives, sure, I could take Book of Belial for free. I don't really want it. I, I'm having an okay time with Book of Shadows right now. And our HP would suffer so much, and I don't think our damage would be proportional to making it work. And we have so few chances to actually make our... Uh, uh, to actually get the third Guppy item, I should say. So this Fool card is um, something that I'm just going to use right now. <laughs> And we'll get our sun card, and then we're just gonna like leave. Uh, strength, I guess we could take into that uh, into that room at the bottom there, but I'd rather just take our sun card and leave this floor. It didn't end up being the best floor for us, but that's okay. We played well, and we kept our HP alive. That's more than I would have expected. Plenty of keys. Yeah, yeah, I think we're playing all right here. Let's head down to. Uh, not even gonna bother with that. We have our Spirit Heart alive. It'll protect our next Eternal Heart, hopefully. We got Book of Shadows. Let's try to make this work. It's Necropolis too. It's very dangerous. So we're gonna rush into our secret room as quickly as possible. We did get a little gish on this floor as well. Probably, in my opinion at least, the best familiar. What do we have in here? Some people might say like Demon Baby, I guess. I, mean, I could sort of see it. Or Rainbow Baby, because it gives you, you know, all of the effects. Not all of the effects are great, though. I'd rather have the best effect as much as possible. Alright. So this is great, actually. It might not look great, but it's great because we don't uh, have to deal with greed in our shop, which actually means we could get a useful item. 
So this is a room where uh, I'm very much going to be using Book of Shadows. And I know I mentioned using Book of Shadows to play the Blood Bank, so our Eternal Heart stays alive, but we get that chance of that even more HP. It's something I'd like to do, but it's uh, it's kind of a perfect world situation, if, if you know what I mean. Um, we have to we have to wait for the conditions to be right for that uh, that kind of stuff to make sense. And the conditions to be right basically means we have to uh, we have to not need Book of Shadows for our for the rooms that we're facing. Good. I'm happy to have the compass. And uh, you know what? I think it's worth buying a fortune or a, a spirit heart as well. Just protect as many of these eternal hearts as we can. So the compass is fantastic. Let's make our way down to the item room there. We will get a Book of Shadows charge. If we have a Book of... Now that we have more Spirit Hearts, I think it's okay for us to um, use Book of Shadows a little bit more aggressively on this Blood Bank. If it doesn't work out for us, what do we lose? Well, probably a few Spirit Hearts or a few hits on our Spirit Heart Reservoir. That was bad damage, but it's the first we've taken in a little while. Um, yeah. But if it goes right, we get an extra HP and we keep our Eternal Heart alive, which could end up making all the difference in the world. Very, I think it's been pretty shrewd tactical play so far, if I do say so myself. Now, this will all be for naught if I pop Book of Shadows and still end up uh, losing my Eternal Heart here. That's not how it should go. Good. We're protected. And we're just going to keep this up. We should get, you know, maybe six or seven plays. That's fine. Totally okay with that. I would love to have a Book of Shadows charge for Mom as well. But the Blood Bank might be a more appropriate use for it, honestly. We'll, we'll see as time goes on. we got a little bit of time to go before we have to worry about that too much. Plenty of floor remaining. This is Necropolis. Necropolis is no joke. That was bad damage on my part. We're starting to hemorrhage these Spirit Arts a little bit. Which I wouldn't mind, except we're losing them on rooms where, you know, I wouldn't normally expect to be losing them. You know, these, these are not the most difficult levels in the game. There we go. We at least got the Silkworm created. Good stuff. We use a bomb here. Maybe get another Spirit Heart back. I could use it. No, just some money. That's fine too, though. Mob Trap Room has a regular chest, which I'm tempted to avoid. I probably got pretty lucky to get out of that situation without taking damage. I aggroed like all of them at once and then changed direction in the middle of their shots, but it all ended up working out, surprisingly. Now this item room could uh, make or break me. That's definitely... I mean, considering we already have Bomb Bag and we're at the end of the game, that's just not worth picking up. There's no, there's no need to sugarcoat it. Sack of Pennies is a pretty terrible item for us at this point in the game. Oof. Almost some really terrible damage there. As long as we don't run into massive infamy, our, our spirit hearts could last us till the next floor, assuming the mom fight goes well. Careful. Careful. Good, 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 good. So now we'll go back and we'll use Book of Shadows on, uh, on the blood bank. I'm sorry for not going off on any crazy tangents uh, over the course of this episode, but this has become a run where, you know, we have to scrape a little bit tactically just to stay alive here, so that's that's where my uh, that's where my focus is. It's very much on the game and providing the commentary. Nice! Uh, providing commentary that is, you know, fitting with the kind of strategic nature of what we're doing right now. So, we got, uh, we got best of both worlds. And it paid out super quickly, too, so we, we get to keep our eternal heart for now. And uh, we still got to play the blood bank, and we got it to pay out. Come on, I don't want to, I don't want to have to dodge into you guys here. Yeah, so that's uh, that's very nice. And every HP, I mean, this is looking like one of those runs where one HP could make the difference. It's a rarity for that to happen, but it does happen from time to time. I know I could go get that bomb there, but I don't think that's worth it. And I don't think at this point, I don't think it's worth going to any rooms that we don't have to. We're gonna get a Book of Shadows charge in time for the boss, assuming that one of these rooms has combat. Or two of these rooms, all of them have to have combat. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get a Book of Shadows charge in time for the boss. That's important. But the other thing that's important, not fucking around on Necropolis and being like, I'm gonna explore every room. Oh no, this, like, the last two all have, like, four masses of infamy each. I think this is a situation where it's actually more prudent for me to just leave, not out of laziness, but out of, like, survival instinct. 
Now I have to go to one extra room if I want the Book of Shadows charge. Is the Book of Shadows charge worth it? No. You know what? I don't think it is. And it, again, that's not motivated by laziness. I really think that it's best for us to just leave, have the Book of Shadows charge ready for the next floor, and, and we can use it appropriately. It's regular mom. Our damage is not going to be, uh, you know, written about in the pages of history. But it is, I'd say, adequate or a step above adequate for uh, keeping us alive and in relatively good spirits here. It's not going to be the world's longest mom fight. I almost did take some pretty terrible damage earlier. That's okay, because we're still here. We're about 20% uh, of the way through the fight, and we've uh, maybe doubled that damage very quickly just by not having to deal with as much crowd control bullshit. So there's um, very nearly to the halfway point. Anytime Mom can help us crowd control, that's even better. Homing shots kind of get a little derpy on the Mom fight here. That's bad damage, but that's okay. We wouldn't have protected against that one anyway, unless we accidentally used Book of Shadows at the exact right time. It's really all about just keeping the spirit heart here. Actually, you know what? It's not even about keeping the spirit heart. It would be nice to give us better deal with the devil chances next floor, but it's really all about keeping this eternal heart alive. We can afford to lose the spirit heart now and still just get that HP. But again, it would be best if we could just keep as much HP as possible, especially since the spirit heart gives us good deal with the devil prospects next floor. But, um, really, we've, we've done our job. We've escorted this Eternal Heart safely to this point in the game, and considering we picked up Maggie's Faith when we had no Spirit Hearts... Careful. Nice, we did it. Considering we picked up Maggie's Faith when we had no Spirit Hearts, I think we did a much better than expected job with Maggie's Faith. It's down to the next floor. We do have Map and Compass. This is going to make it very easy for us to get to the uh, boss room. Assuming we don't run into Curse of Darkness. Um, I'm just coming this way quickly to check out the secret room because you never know, man. If we get a one-up, that would be huge. Raw liver would be huger. Fetus items. Six cents. Who knows? Maybe we encounter a judgment later who gives us all of those things I asked for and more. Now, th this room is not hard. It's just annoying. Um, yeah, we can sneak in some, like, curved shots here. Seriously, just a tedious room, unless you can fly, or you have, uh, Spectral Tears, or, you know, Mom's Knife Brimstone. Which we don't, but, um, that's okay, we'll, uh, sing for our supper here. You know, it's gonna be a little bit of a long room, but that's okay. If I could just kill one, uh, it would make my dodging process a lot easier. Thank you, thank you. There's still three. It's hard to tell because two of them occupied the same tile there a second ago, but yeah, definitely still three. Oh, come on. There we go. Now just one. Fucking finally. But if we could have that room like a hundred times for the rest of the, the floor, I'd be okay with it. Not a hundred times, ideally, but like five times um, because it's better than dealing with some of these other rooms. So, uh, popped mask, or not mask of infamy, popped, um, Book of Shadows here. Thought it was a smart choice given that I oftentimes take damage on this room. You kind of start in a little bit of a bullet heli situation. Once you take out an enemy or two, it becomes much easier to dodge them. I should do it. Uh, a little bit more money. We will get a Book of Shadows charge for the boss, assuming all goes well. Nothing spectacular in that room, it seems. We still have half a Spirit Heart protecting us here for the possibility of a deal with the devil. All right, well, that might come in handy. Let's not turn up our nose at that single red heart just yet. Still a, a situation where we have to be, you know, on our guard, have to be, have to play smart strategically here, and really, really not take any unnecessary damage. One more room to a Book of Shadows charge, and it's an easy one, thankfully. Especially with a single cube of meat. Now, this boss is important, man. Please, for the love of God, don't be Conquest. That's all I ask. I could deal with death. I I could get a decent item there. It's Skolex, so Skolex is like a dream come true right now. All we gotta do is not take damage against Skolex, and we should have like, again, a 135% chance to take damage, or to, to um, get a deal with the devil. Mind you, we have to actually hit Skolex, apparently, in order to do damage, which uh, I was not aware of at the time that I signed up. Ooh, a little bit scary there. Uh, Gish actually seems like super useful against Skolex because we can slow him and then uh, it gives us more of a window to kind of shoot that uh, final body segment it seems. Maybe not. 
I don't know. If we could slow the final body segment, we could probably do it. Ooh, a little scary. Jesus Christ. There we go. A little bit of a window there. It's going to be a long Skull X fight. I'm saving my bombs because uh, we might need... Oh, hurt yourself, please. No. Nope. We might need uh, these bombs to uh, to be the best we can be against Mom's Heart. I think they did end up hurting themselves a little bit there. This is a situation where Mom's Knife is just such a beautiful augmentation. But we're slowly but surely working our way through here. That was a little scary. Luckily, those bombs don't make creeps, so I can make a little bit of an escape there. Probably a pretty clutch uh, Book of Shadows play there. So, I, uh, I also use Book of Shadows. Oh, no! I also use Book of Shadows to get close enough to do, uh, like, Cube of Meat orbital damage. But... We did take damage. We got hit once, like, very, very towards the end. He's only got one hit left. Just finish it. There we go. Two hits. Well, we got lucky. A deal with the devil. Mom's knife. We have to take it. Sorry. We've earned it. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily always humble, but I've played very well on this run, and uh, I think we've definitely deserved to survive long enough to take Mom's knife. Yeah. I think we... Uh, we did our part here. I don't think there's any reason to go to the library. There is a reason to go to the blood bank, but at this point I'm just gonna, you know, kind of sprint for the finish. Because we still don't have a lot of HP. So we have to be a little cautious, but not nearly as cautious as we would have been uh, had we not picked up at least something worthwhile there. Uh, but Mom's Knife is pretty much objectively the most worthwhile at that point, I'd say. Thank God we didn't completely fuck it up by taking too much damage against Skull X. That was probably the difference between a winning run and a losing run right there. That was dumb, but we can always get full health. And uh, it doesn't really matter at this point if we take red heart damage because there's no deals with the devil coming for us. With this sun card, I'm pretty sure that we've just given ourselves a victory here. The smart money would be on victory at least. Probably will use bombs here. I don't think there's any reason not to. I will, I'm going to try to avoid using... Um, Book of Shadows, though, it's it's probably more valuable on the Cathedral than against an enemy like Mom's Knife, where I, I or sorry, against an enemy like Mom's Heart, where I just know exactly what enemies are going to spawn, you know, how to usually dodge them effectively and, and stuff like that. Almost took damage there, but almost doesn't cut it. Mom, that's going to do that, and we're up to the next floor with Map and Compass, and a very, very close um, boss fight there, only a few rooms away. We only use like two bombs on the mom's heart boss fight, so we definitely will be taking a look at our secret room because why the heck not? That was dumb. Don't do what I do there. Stay far away and charge up mom's knife instead. Let's see what we've got in here. Again, a, a one up would be amazing, but sure, money's good too, I suppose. Book of Shadows against Isaac will probably allow us to do like maybe half of his HP. So all we gotta do is not get completely fucked. Uh, by the enemies coming up to it, and the other half, I guess, but uh, we also will have a little bit of Polaroid Invincibility, but it's the Sun card. The Sun card is, is what uh, gives me such confidence right now. This is a run where we may end up indeed having a card that carried us, along with Mom's Knife, of course, which is also, in case you weren't aware, pretty good as far as items and Isaac go. Okay, so we're going to use it right away. We're pretty much just going to stand right here so that the orbital does as much damage as possible, too. Yeah. What did I say? We're at about half of his HP right now. Might even be able to go two-thirds. Yeah. Two-thirds plus that dumb bomb that ended up hurting me a little bit, but also did damage to him. That was very dumb on my part as well. Uh, not as dumb as that was, though. Okay, we got to stop the bleeding here. I've taken a little bit too much damage. Uh, okay, there's our... Permanent Polaroid Invincibility. I don't really want to use the Sun card here. But I will. Because I felt I had to. That was very dumb play on my part. We could have gotten out of that better. Well, you know, the drama's still there then. Very quick run to our boss fight. Oh, that lard is huge. That lard is very important. Probably should kill uh, Gluttony last. So we're going to pick up that uh, that lard last as well. Because I didn't... 
You know, it doesn't give you much in the way of red hearts, but I don't want to take the speed downgrade yet. That was bad. Yeah, I would rather avoid taking the speed downgrade. And Gluttony's gonna go. Good. We can even get to a half heart interval. Razor Blade is not worth picking up. Well, this is gonna be our boss fight. I think it benefits us to have a Book of uh, Book of Shadows charge, even if we lose a little HP here. And we had the Shears as well, but I think Book of Shadows is, is a much stronger play to take into the room. All right, we should be totally fine. What else do we have here? Homing Bombs. Sure, those are good. Lard is fine. And we will get one invincibility as a result of that. We have to be a little better than I was, though. Like, sincerely, don't take as much dumb damage as I took on the back half of that uh, Isaac fight. Alright, permanent Polaroid invincibility is wearing off. That's fine, now hang back. We can afford to hang back. You don't have to rush up and, uh, and finish him off before, like, ten seconds go by. If you just hang back, you'll be totally fine. Alright, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe old me was right. Turns out, these guys are assholes and deserve to be killed as soon as possible. We're gonna win. And we deserve to win. But it was a little bit, uh, a little bit more cumbersome than I thought. Well, a lot of people are gonna be disappointed we took Mom's Knife and won. But hey, that's the break sometimes. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.